So a common question is, my um, relative is starting to fall more frequently. And one of the things that comes with that is a lot of fear of falling again, which generally means you're going to fall more often because you're already afraid. Maybe you're walking more tensely, you're not relaxed. It just starts to compound a lot of other things. So some simple ways to work on balance. Strengthening in different scenarios, you know, challenging your system in a safe way. So I'm gonna show you a couple of situations. Now, obviously these are compounded by a lot of different factors. So if you have neuropathy or numbness in your feet, it's gonna be very different. But you need to start thinking of everyday obstacles in the house that become difficult things to trip over. So you may wanna take away all the little bathroom rugs and the little hall rugs because those are really easy to trip over. Um, some people will not give those up and so one option is to really tape those to the floor, you know, uh, uh, secure them so there's not like an edge that's easier to trip over. Another thing is just being able to have stronger hip flexors and legs so that you're actually clearing your feet when you walk. Um, something else is low vision in the evenings, you know, if you get up to go to the restroom, having some motion activated lights in the bathroom or on the way to the bathroom is very helpful so you're less likely to trip over items in the house. So an easy balance activity is every day when you brush your teeth, you can either hold on to the counter and maybe stand with your feet really close together. And if that's too easy, you can put one foot on top of the other. And if that's too easy, you can have your feet close together and remove the arm. But you're brushing your teeth and you're challenging your balance <laughs> all at the same time. Now, another activity is just, you know, standing on something softer. So I just have a pillow here you can sit and kind of challenge your balance or you can stand up and challenge your balance. So the more narrow your feet, the closer your feet are together, obviously the more challenging that is. You can try it one leg. It gives you information on which is your stronger leg and which is your weaker leg. But the whole point is that you are doing that in a safe manner so that you challenge yourself because one of the strategies as we age is instead of using our ankles for balance, we start trying to use our hips and it's just not a good strategy that works well. So if you can strengthen your ankles, strengthen your legs, um, do some things that'll help make it easier to find your way. If lighting is low or there's maybe you're at your daughter's house for the holidays, who knows? It's just a way to be aware and prevent falls and build some confidence. I hope that was helpful.